Hello, I'm Ed Tricia and welcome back to Let's Play Heat Signature. So, I've been playing a little bit of this offline and uh, I've got to say, got a fair bit further. So, this character here, I've actually managed to do the personal mission on. And if we have a quick look at their stuff, like they've got armor piercing long blade, silenced quick fire arm piercing rifle, take everything gun, which teleports everything in range to be turned into ammo, loads of other rechargeable amazing weapons, so I'm instantly going to put that person away since they are kind of complete right now. And instead we're going to play as Simple Lakeo with a short blade and a rechargeable stealth shield. Since this person hasn't been played with before, they have like nothing in their stash. So we're going to have to do something to be able to get ourselves a little bit of cash. What missions do we have? Silent Claws. Ooh. Audacious in a Silent Claws. Ninety-second alarm. Emergency shield. It pays really, really well. You know what? Let's try it. We're going to do a really hard mission. We've got basically, like, no kit. This is going to be interesting. What's our ship? Brown. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so we have to steal an object. Oh, it's a pretty big ship as well. Not too big, at least. It gently does it. Right. Huh. Quickly. Right, one of you. Who's gonna move? I need one of you to move. What's the recharge time on the short blade? Swing again, blah, 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 blah. So we can, like, swing multiple times. So maybe we could take two out at once if we're really quick about it. Oh, yes, 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 come this way. Good. Right, one down. Okay. Wait for it. Two down. Three down. I mean, we're silent. We are causing huge amounts of casualties. But we're silent. Oh, God. Stealth shield. Right, turn that off. I'm going to go kill this guy. Oh, nearly got seen there. Remember, we've got a silent claw, so we only get paid a large amount of the uh, fee if we're completely silent. Okay, another one coming this way. That means they can't find bodies either. All right, there's a key card down here. Oh, except that person I want to kill because they've got the stealth shield. Not stealth shield. Bit quickly. Dump the body and then you. There we go. Right. Okay. Uh, you as well. Oh, only just. I got a little bit cocky there. Right. Who's next? Right. You. A lot of people through there with a level three key. Yes, please. This is a rechargeable stealth shield, so I could just, like, spam it. I could dive in there, stab someone, and then, like, put up the shield. Ooh, is that, like, armor-piercing bullets? I think that might be. They're really hard to find. Come on, someone come this way. Oh, 
crap. Oh well, might as well leave now. That's kind of gone. Quickly, run away! I keep forgetting I've got that stealth shield. Like, I was- I could have spanned that stealth shield a lot quicker. Oh well. I'll have to try again. It was worth trying for the amount of money. But with zero equipment on us. Right, we're gonna pop home. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was entirely my fault, though. Like, we could have quite easily got ourselves a- Oh, come on. We could have put up the stealth shield and we'd have been fine. I forgot they had the teleport ability, so I was expecting more leniency. Uh, you know, we'll do a liberation. This gives 100 intel and adds 2 to all starting character funds. Hmm. You're not sure. Let's get some money. Right. Mistake missions. This client offers missions so wildly difficult that you need to be brilliant, superbly equipped, and a little bit stupid to take them on. They pay the kind of money that you have to pay a professional for something that will probably kill them. Okay. Uh, that sounds interesting. Right, we've got money now. Let's buy some stuff. Special stock. Overpriced, rechargeable, long-range visitor. It does cost 66, though. Rechargeable crash beam for 14. Done. Crash beam allows you to turn off electronics. Silence quick fire shotgun. It is a silenced weapon, I'll have it. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, we need an actual mission. That would help. Whoopsie. Try again. Alright, let's go pick up a mission. I wonder if there are any mistakes to pick up. Bloodless claws. No, I've got no bloodless weapons. I could pick up a wrench. Hard. Silent claws. You've got a shield. I do have a crash beam. Time limit. Mm, no, I don't like that. Capture. Armored. Shields. No. You know what? I'm just going to refresh the mission list. I wish you could do like a refresh the mission list without having to do this. Because we, we can't do anything with armor. We can't do anything that's lethal. Oh, hello. Uh, Non-lethal. Well, we could pick up a wrench, but that kind of goes against what we've got so far. Capture carbon Rubicon without triggering an alarm. Uh, they've all got armor. No. It's a mistake difficulty. That'd be why. Assassinate... Rid of explosives that detonate if they're hit with lethal damage. Okay. Lots of guards. You know what? I'll take it. We'll need something non-lethal to hit the bosses with, because the bosses will explode if hit with a lethal attack. So we pop over here. We grab ourselves a wrench. I don't think I've got any non-lethal guns. No. And we're going to have to put ourselves on... Silence, quickfire, shotgun, and then a wrench. Alright, let's do this. I've not really done an explosive one before. I, have, I think I've done it once, but it was with a character who's only had like non-lethal options, so it didn't really come into play. Okay. Ooh, quickly. My headphones just ran out of battery. There we go. here again. Right, so we've got a boss there, a normal person there. We can take out the normal person quite easily. Oh. Maybe not. Ah, you moved back. Okay. 
I'm gonna. There we go. I forgot which button I had the uh, shot on. So I can use their heat sensors if I can clip the edge to get them to investigate me and then I can shoot them. Or hit them. I think I hit that one. My hit is on right, my shoot is on left. Okay. This should be easy. Done. Okay. That's the combo we want to use a bit more often. It's going to take a little bit of work getting to it. Personal mission intel. Did I have to capture you? I can't remember what I have to do for you. Ter oh, it's a terminal. Yeah, it's a terminal. So we're okay. Just got to remember to make sure I hit the people with explosives, not with a gun, because they will explode, and that will be very, very bad for us. Oh, God. Um... Just in case, I should move that body. Oh, getting close there. I didn't think you could see me. Right, there's the mission intel. That will reduce our personal mission cost by 40. Now, we can get rid of their response time by taking out the pilot. That means that they will no longer be able to go and get uh, back to base or anything. This down here is going to be more complicated. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this. A shot to the window would blow them all into space. Maybe. They're in a different room. You know, rechargeable crash beam... Can I turn off your explosives? No. Okay, what about if we use the rechargeable stealth shield? Ah, I was hoping to pull them out of position a little bit longer than that. How many, how many more uses have I got of that stealth shield? Okay. Now that that one's gone, I might be able to do it. Okay, okay, okay. We need a uh, wrench. Oh! So close. Rechargeable extreme range crash beam. Thank you very much. Now, rechargeable means that every time you go back to base, it gets back up to full, which is absolutely brilliant for us. So we don't waste a weapon. It's also extreme range. Which is just dandy. So I actually need... Boop. Turn that turret off. That's our assassination target. Uh, oh god. Okay. Now, they do have explosives on them. So I'm not exactly sure how the best way to kill them is going to be. So I'm going to dump them here for the moment. And we're going to deal with these people down here. Right. One down. Two down. Oh, forgot I didn't have my gun on. Whoopsie. That almost ended badly. High capacity swapper. Teleporter moves you instantly, but each type is unique limitation. This one 
has to swap you with someone else on the map. Right, I do want to try and take these ones out so that we can get to that chest, because chests have really nice stuff in them. And in general, early missions, I tend to go for the chest rather than the actual payout, because the chest is so good. Right, you're a boss, so you need to be taken out non-lethally. Give me a silent shotgun, let's do this. There we go. Wasn't too hard. Long range key cloner. Only one use though. But it allows you to copy a key without having to go up and physically nick it. It's very, very useful. This one's going to be tougher. Three of them there. Unless one of them goes off a lot further. Oh, we just shot past a station. Because there's no one flying the ship anymore. That makes sense. Whoopsie. Right, I put the person I meant to assassinate in here next to explosive. That's probably a good way to kill them. I don't know how I'm going to take you out. I could do a swapper. Swap in for someone. Right, let's do it. High capacity swapper. I need to be closer to swap. Okay. Stealth shield. Can I use a crash beam on you? To take out your heat seekers. There we go. It's rechargeable, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Then we use a high capacity swapper. To swap for you. Wrench. Silent shotgun. Wrench. There we go. Ooh. Cutting use of a swapper there, I think. I didn't know what result the swapper would have on someone. Like, would they realize that they'd been swapped? It seems that they get confused. Like, they had the question mark above them. But they didn't seem to, like, sound an alarm or anything. Uh, right, I'm going to dump you next to explosives here. How far away can I be from the explosives? Not particularly far. I might get blown into space by this, which will be fine. Because I've got my ship to pick me up. Objective killed! Let's go pick ourselves up. We did get blown into space. Ta-da! And that is how you kill someone who's got explosives on their person. Wait, wasn't there like a chest or something that they were guarding that I was meant to be getting? Can I just double check that? I don't know if I just missed a chest by that accident there. Whoopsie, ow. That's gonna scratch the paintwork. Nope, we're good. I didn't know why I needed to kill them. I didn't actually need to kill them. That was just bloodthirst. Whoops. Done! Enigma, silent, unscathed. I mean, the sun, you know, no one can hear you if they're all dead. So we did blow up part of the ship, but they're all dead. We got paid. Oh, yeah. And new liberation. Where can we liberate? What would we like to liberate? High capacity crash beams permanently available, but they're not rechargeable. Yeah. Orange glitch teleporter. Foundry brick. No idea what that is. Can ram ships hard enough to physically smash a whole room? Okay. Concussion hammer. Offered angel. Ooh. 
Sure. We'll start making our way up there. Get the Offworld Angel, because that seems to take... It seems to mean that we don't take lasting damage. Now, next mission. Oh, let's see what the special stock is. Overpriced, rechargeable, high-capacity slipstream. <gasps> that is amazing. I love the slipstream. And it's rechargeable. And it's high-capacity. But it is overpriced, which means that it's charging far more than I have. But I really want to be able to fight, like buy that. Like, I really want to be able to buy that. Okay, we're just going to do next mission, see if it'll still be there. A sense that we're not triggering an alarm. Time limit... Concussive guns, heat sensors, concussive gun, emergency shield. There's a time limit to it. Let's do it. Assassinate, no alarm. Go, 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 go. Now there's a time limit, so we need to get there ASAP. And we're going to have to be really fast about this. I can't, like, deliberate my moves. We can spend time in the pause menu, which is probably what I'm going to do. Okay, bring her in, bring her in, bring her in. That was a pretty fast dock. Uh, I might want to pick up a concussion gun. What instead of? Instead of a short blade? Yeah, not certain. Right, where do we need to go? This door, and there's people beyond that. Okay. Right, next. That's the pilot. Right, if we get to the pilot, we can stop the countdown. Okay, there we go. Countdown stopped. There's a concussion gun. We'll send that to Stash. There's also a high-capacity swapper. Um, I don't want to pull that out instead of our four. I'm quite happy with our four at the moment. I don't want to, like, drain both of them and have to choose between, like, a one and a one later on. I could shoot you. There's no time limit now. We're good. Rechargeable stealth shield. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've already got rechargeable stealth shield, so I'll send it to my stash. I thought, like, that was really good for a moment. I was like, no, we've already got that. Um, right. They're not really defending anything. Ooh, actually, there is something up here for me to grab. Yoink. Long range key cloner. Replace the one with the three. Those can be really useful if you like sneaking past enemies. I haven't really used that tank so far. I could pop in here and shoot all of them. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to kill people, right? Yeah, it's just don't trigger alarms. So I can shoot, like, everyone. Boop. Uh, crap. They've raised the alarm. Oh, so close. So very, very close. That was my fault. I didn't think they get the shield up fast enough. Rechargeable subverter. Subverters are kind of cool. Um, they make turrets work for you. They make shields reverse so that they bounce bullets off the inside. So when someone tries to fire at you, they'll bounce off their own shield. And it's rechargeable. But it's only one use, so I'm going to put it away. Concussion hammer. Powered non-lethal melee weapon with startling knockback. Hold the button to aim your dash, release a strike. Swing almost immediately. Okay, replacing the wrench with that. Nice. Okay.
Whew. That was tight. Again, didn't expect the shields to go up so quickly. Hi. I love the knockback. Now, this person is unconscious. We can kill them from the pause menu. There we go. We can return to the station. I'm not gonna. There we go. Now I can return to the station. I could kill the last few people up here. Just for the lulls. But there's nothing to actually be gained by doing that other than risk. They don't have any equipment on them. Other than their normal guns. So, yeah, I'm going to leave. I already almost got caught twice on this one. Ooh, extra intel. Three intel. Mmm. The intel pickups like that are pretty minor. Uh, AP ammo is far better. Okay, gently does it. Gently does it. Bring her in, bring her in. Done! Nice, look at that. No alarm bonus for 61. Please be selling the same thing. Oh, no. Overpriced self-charging long range glitch trap. Place the trap at your feet that teleports enemies to the location you clicked. Can transport them into space. Self-charging. So it'll keep being like it'll be keep sending people to space. But it doesn't recharge. So it can only be used three times. Yeah, I'll pass. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to getting that like amazing uh, time slip device. Right. Let's see what else we've got here. Capture. Ooh. No alarms. Time limit. Many sentry guns. Lots of guards. Serious guard kit. Heat sensor, shield. Yeah, shields are really frustrating. What about this? Glitch dash, gun, emergency shield. Emergency shield? Ooh. On every guard? There's only a few guards on the ship, though. Yeah. What about... You know what? Let's, let's just refresh the missions. What's this station got in store? Hijack. Bosses of armor. Now, there's a few things that can get through armor. Uh, anything with arm penetrating quality. They're the top tier weapon. Um, explosives. Not many other things. Turrets can shoot through them. Time limit. And I have nothing really to get through the armor with. Like, there are a few things we could do. Like, we could use a glitch trap to move them. Um, we could use uh, explosives. But as soon as we use explosives, they'll hear us. And there is a time limit. Unless if I set up the alarm. Okay. What about... Rescue without triggering alarm. Skeleton crew, time limit... Guards, carry the key cards. Bosses, just use guns. That's really weird. Okay. Uh, sure. Rescue without triggering alarm. We'll do that. Go, 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 go. Was there a time limit on this one? Yes, there is. Right, let's bring her up. Bring her up. Gently does it. Okay, cool. What's my right click? My crash beam at the moment. I should change that to the shotgun. Just gives us a bit more range. Oh, there's two guards over there. Really long. I can shoot them, right? Yeah. 
It's great being able to use the shotgun like this. Hi. Ship's cure. Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a long range swap of one charge. Not much use to me. Okay, grab the extra intel. Grab the unconscious person. Grab what's ever in, is in the case. Rechargeable visitor. We could use that instead of the high capacity swapper. The visitor means you go there for two seconds. So whatever you whatever you go there to do, you have to do it in two seconds. Um, I might change the, change the short blade for it, because the concussion hammer is just better than the short blade. So I've got two different types of teleporter. And... We're away. Beautiful. That's how it's done. Do, 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 do. We're getting paid tonight. Lovely. What have we got in the special stock? Please tell me something good. Overpriced rechargeable high capacity slipstream. There it is. Yes, I would like that. And I would like to replace rechargeable, rechargeable, rechargeable extreme range crash beam. Um, you know what? I'll get rid of the normal crash beam. I'll keep the extreme range. That's going to be incredibly useful. If you haven't seen that in action, by the way, what it does is it means you move five times faster of 10 seconds and everyone else moves 10 times slower. Like effectively... We get 10 seconds where everyone else gets to experience one second. But we also move five times faster during it. So it's pretty damn helpful. Uh, liberation available? Oh. A Ford Angel. Hold use to pull floating people into the pod, making it easy to save yourself and others. If you're bleeding, the angel prevents... Uh, both, uh, if you're bleeding, the angel both stabilizes and prevents lasting damage. Yes. Done. Thank you. Awesome. And the Offworld Angel replaces your current pod. Done. So we now have a new pod as well. Uh, ooh, hello. Mistake mission. Yeah, armor again. Glitch dash on all guards. Can't do that. Even though it would reduce the cost of our personal mission. Hijack. Armor. I can't do armor. Many sentry guns. Capture. Few guards. Emergency shield on all guards. Emergency shield on all guards. That's really, really tough. And it doesn't pay very much either. You know what? Let's take our pod. Oh, yeah. New type of pod, because we are amazing. Let's go and find another mission over here. Okay. What about this? Guards all have shields. All guards have shields. I only need a lot of crash beams for that. I have a few, but... Emergency shield and a glitch dash now. Armor, no. Explosives on all guards. Non-lethal, no living witnesses, no alarm response. That's good. Serious guard, kit, lots of guards. Guards of shotgun, concussive. You have a shield and a shotgun. Con yeah, you know what? We can do this. So there's no time limit. There's no alarm response. So we can go crazy with the alarm response, but we have to have no living witnesses. Right. So anyone who sees us has to die. We're allowed to create alarms, but anyone who sees us has to die, because we need that bonus. And we'll need ways to shut down shields. So, 
I believe if we go over here, we have a rechargeable subverter or a rechargeable stealth shield or a rechargeable crash beam. I'll take the crash beam and I will have it instead of the visitor. We've got the shotgun. All right, let's do this. Okay, bring her in. Oh, you're changing it. There we go. That is a lot of people. Right. Give me the rechargeable crash beam. There we go. No shield for you. I'm going to put the, sh the shotgun on one. Put the concussion hammer on two. There we go. And I'll make sure you're dead. Even though you didn't see me. High capacity key cloner. Yeah. I replaced my long range key clone of that. Intel. You know what? I need to go on the other side of this wall temporarily. Rechargeable crash beam. Boop. No shield for you. Oh, no! Okay, right. Everyone needs to die now. That was my fault there. Took too long to do my thing. Right. I could use the personal revival field that we come with on this ship, but I didn't because I forgot about it. Right. Let's try that again. Everyone needs to die this time. Right. You're dead. Your shield needs to go down. No shield for you. You're all dead. It's level four. I need to be able to turn off your... Oh, hello. Someone's coming this way. Whoops. I may have broken a window. Didn't mean to. Concussion hammer. They went out the window because concussion hammer is funny like that. Sidewinder. Uh, I will send that to stash. That allows you to teleport provided there's a like a route you could go there. It's not rechargeable, so. Anyone else want to go out the window? Of course you do. Right, we also need the oh, rechargeable. Ah, uh, wait, rechargeable. Right, I want you on right, left click. I want rechargeable extreme range crash beam on right click. There we go.
I want to go in there and kill them. They've got stuff. Like, that's an item there, that's an item there. Whoops! I forget how violent that can be. Uh, right. Yoink! And capture you. I didn't realize the item got blown into space, but I will... Oh no! Damn it! That's, that's so my fault. Yeah, I may have blown that. You know what? We're going back. I'm gonna get revenge. Is there an item on my ball that I can get? Yeah, there is, right? I missed an item. This is it! Revenge time! I've, I don't know why I didn't use my personal slipstream. This would be the perfect mission to use it in. Because if I had to kill people, it's all cool. Right, where's my overcharged slipstream? There we go, let's do this. What else is there? High capacity visitor. Hmm. Slipstream! Done. Yeah, you can do crazy stuff like that with stream. Rechargeable long range crash beam. Uh, in which case, done. I've got two. One, uh, one's extreme range, one's long range. Okay. That was worth coming back for. But yeah, no, I screwed up. I didn't realize. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I realized I'd capture, and I don't know why. I was just like, oh, this is going to be fine. No, no, it's not going to be. E. Why did you do that? Oh, well. Anyway, I guess we'll call it over this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, we are getting... I think we've got enough intel to be able to afford to do our personal mission, but our personal mission is going to be really hard, so I do think we'll want to get something with armor penetrating rounds to do it, because typically they involve a lot of very tough enemies. Normally with lots of armor, in my experience. I've only done one so far, but they are really tough. So, ooh, special stock. What have you got on for today? Overpriced, restockable, remote grenade launcher. No, can't afford it anyway. Uh, restockable means, just like rechargeable, is you get free ammo when you get back to base. So, we're going to call it this episode. If you've liked, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, you know, down below in the comment section, let me know what you think. I'm really wanting to at least get a personal mission done in this series. So, we're going to try and farm a little bit more. We might just hit some, like, normal ships and just knock them over until we can find enough stuff. Until next time, I've been at Rilassima. Stay shiny.